Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and today we have the opportunity to begin checking out the Collect Day 2021 figures as we start with one of, I think, the coolest looking figures that they are releasing this year, one that I was really quite interested in checking out in person. This is the Neo Venatar, and it looks awesome in person. Initially, a lot of people were kind of thrown off by the promotional images, but I can definitely say, as far as I'm concerned, and with complete confidence, in person, this figure looks way better than even the promotional images had led me to believe. I really thought that it looked very unique and quite different than your normal interpretation of this species from the promotional images, and that carries through with the figure in person. I think it looks really cool, very unique, and one of the most appealing aspects about the figure, I think, is the fact that it looks so unique and, uh, again, really beautiful looking in person. I've only really had a few minutes to just kind of look over the figure before throwing it up here on the table to review, but I am definitely quite impressed. However, I am also really excited to go ahead and take a closer look at it with you guys, so let's go ahead and do that right now. So once I take the dinosaur off of the stand and you get a nice closer look at that head sculpt, you can see that that head sculpt is absolutely gorgeous. They have done a tremendous job. Uh, wow, we're into losing our focus here. On the head sculpt of this figure, some gorgeous scale detail. I really like how the scale detail gets uh, kind of larger as you get closer to like the snout, the nostril area, and the front of the mouth. It looks really cool as far as the way that that's been sculpted. I don't know why my camera really hates this figure right now for some reason as far as like focusing on it. Maybe it's the colors. I'm not too sure. But regardless, again, the scale detail and everything here on the face looks really nice. You can see the nostrils sculpted out there. Very interesting looking paint scheme as we have a yellow that kind of runs across the tip of the snout. And then we have a darker green, then a lighter green, and then kind of a yellow. The same variation of yellow we have right here that kind of rings around the eye. And then a few more areas of that dark green, and it looks extremely, extremely cool. The eye is painted with a nice black coloration and perfectly glossed. You can see that as glossed in a very realistic way, looking 100% lifelike and alive. You can also see the ears sculpted out back there as well. If we take a look at the opposing side again, this side also looks gorgeous. I'm a huge fan of the head sculpt. You can see that the dinosaur has its mouth closed. The teeth are not showing or anything, and I really quite like that aspect of the figure as well. I think the actual paint application here on the face is really nicely done, and the actual sculpted detail is pretty much off the charts. A gorgeous figure. You can kind of see like some ridges that are hanging off of the underside of the throat, painted with like a pinkish coloration, and it also has those same style of ridges up here on the top of the head. They start out pretty big right there, and then transition to a smaller version of the ridges right there. But you can see as we move back into the neck, there's quite a few osteoderms poking up here and there. And you can also see a really nice smooth transition between that green to the white underbelly here of the neck. The neck is really nicely sculpted as far as that scaling goes. A really nice texturing to the neck. And you can also see just generally the throat and everything is quite nicely detailed, quite nicely elaborated right there. Moving down into the body, you can pick up on the shoulder blade a little bit right there. The skin texture is gorgeous throughout this figure. I really think that Collecte has done a great job on the actual texturing and scaling of the dinosaur. You move down here into the arm. That front arm sports some pretty nice looking musculature. Beautifully sculpted hands and you also have some nails painted there with a nice gray. There is nothing sloppy as far as the paintwork goes in that area. The nails are painted quite nicely overall. You can see the skin kind of stretching off of the body right there. You can also see that we continue with these kind of, I don't know if I'd say darker green, but like a brighter green. It's the same bright green we see up here that stripes along the body. You can pick up on some osteoderms here and there as we move down the course of the body of the dinosaur. You can also see that for the most part, the dinosaur is standing in almost a neutral position. The one leg is just a little bit further than the other, but uh, you can't really see it too well from this vantage point. But you can also see the arms are also slightly in a different position and the head is turned to the right. So there's a little difference between the limbs as far as the positioning goes. But for the most part, it just kind of gives me the feeling like the dinosaur has just stopped for a moment. And maybe it's like sniffing the air to try to catch a scent of maybe its next meal or something along those lines. A really cool pose, I think, for the figure. But you can again see some of the skin here stretching off of the body going into the legs. Some nice creases 
right here as the thigh starts to pick up and you can see another osteoderm right there as we move down the course of the leg again we have some more incredibly nice skin texture as well as some nicely defined musculature through the legs doesn't have too much going on as far as like a calf muscle or anything goes but i still think it looks absolutely beautiful and then moving down into the foot the foot sculpt looks really nice quite bird-like beautifully painted nails just like we had seen up on the hands with a nice grayish coloration you also have the dew claws present and they are painted quite nicely as well there's some nice paintwork on the feet as well you can kind of see like variations of green as far as like lighter and darker greens included i feel like they may be included a kind of like a darker wash as far as like a darker green wash and it looks really cool it gives it i think a pretty realistic appearance as far as that goes and then moving back up into the tail we continue to see some really nice scale detail on the tail even the underside sports a beautiful scaled textured appearance and we run out the length of the tail the dinosaur has its tail almost straight out but then it also has a slight curve toward its right but i think it looks really cool very nice paint scheme for the figure as well you can see those green stripes continue to run out the length of the tail and those ridges up here on the back continue to run the length of the tail and they get a little bit bigger right in the hip region but then they decrease in size in both directions i think that looks really cool the underside also sports again really nice detailing you do have the cloaca present which is really nice to see they've also added some extra paintwork around the cloaca just to kind of make it appear as though it's dirty a little bit and you can see the underside has the species name and of course the collect day logo and all of that fun stuff if we take a look at the opposing side you're not going to see too much difference on this side in comparison to what we had seen on the previous side because again it's almost in a neutral position but moving back here into the neck you can basically get like a sense of the musculature of the neck looking at it right here you can kind of see the neck tensing up a little bit which is a pretty cool little detail that they've added in there you can see some more of those osteoderms as well and then moving back here into the body you can take note to the really nice musculature of the arm right here again you can pick up on that kind of darker green wash that they've applied to the arm area and actually that same similar wash they've applied to the feet i think actually the entire body generally has that wash but it's not as easily noticed up here on the body in comparison to areas like the hands and the feet but you could really get a good idea of the detailing aspect in the arm due to that wash and again my camera is going crazy with this figure but you can definitely see how that wash is applied and makes all the detail pop quite nicely in the hand and again you can see the skin stretching off of the body here in both the arm region and the leg really showing again just some movement within the figure the scale detail looks incredible here in the stomach region yet again and i think you can pick up on that darker wash a little better over here and then take note of how nicely that scale detail actually pops and again you can really see how smooth the transitions are between the colors really really nicely done as far as the paintwork goes you can see over here again the musculature of the thigh and the calf some more gorgeous detailing as we move down into the foot as far as like the texturing of the figure goes you can really see how beautiful that foot sculpt is over here again the nicely painted nails with a grayish coloration you can even see some of the scale detail here on the foot some more creasing and everything right there in the foot almost some scoots that run down the foot but not really so much onto the toes which is pretty cool to see because more often than not you usually see a scoot like appearance down the toes of most theropods but we don't see that here on this one and then we move back up into the tail again some more really nice scale details we run out the length of the tail that sticks out pretty nice and straight only a little slight curve to it which there's not really too much of a curve to the body just a slight right turn with the head and a slight right turn with the tail and other than that there's not too much else going on as far as like the bending of the body but i think this figure is absolutely incredible a really beautiful release from collect day for the 2021 year as you can see the figure actually stands really nicely it does of course come with that little plastic stand that you can use to hold your dinosaur up but honestly it stands perfectly on its own really nicely balanced for sure so great work on the part of collect day as far as that goes and for a size on our neo venator you can see that for a length we are looking at just shy of seven inches maybe like very very close to seven inches or about 17 and a half centimeters somewhere in that range and then for a height the highest point would probably be the snout right there actually more like that crest above the eye so you're looking at just a hair under two and a half inches or about six and a half centimeters for a size comparison there is mr papo t-rex the attack pack colovasaurus and robert muldoon from the mattel jurassic world toy line 
next to our collect a neo venatar and you definitely should be able to get a pretty good idea of the fact that the figure is fairly small in comparison to the other figures that you see before you and i think that is definitely a pretty nice aspect to the figure if you are in a similar situation to me and you just have an overloaded collection full of figures the fact that it has a fairly smaller size is something that could quite nicely appeal to you but at the same time i think that the figure is so jam-packed with detail that it sports the same amount of sculpt and detail you would see on a much larger figure at a much smaller size and still an extremely impressive figure in every way being a standard figure from collect a it's kind of in that same size range that most of their standard sized figures usually are so if you are familiar with collect a in the standard size range of most of their figures you'll probably already have a good idea of what the size is but if not hopefully these figures right here will help you out so this collect a 2021 neo venatar is a beautiful beautiful figure and one that i am really happy to add to my collection it's a figure of a species that we don't get too many figures of and in fact there are very few out there in general of the species so to get one from collect a is really awesome but to get one that looks so unique and so different kind of a really cool take on the species by collect a i think is just an added plus overall because it really does look quite unique quite different than most dinosaur figures as far as theropods and especially neo venatar usually looks and i really really quite like that aspect of the figure i also like the fact that the mouth is closed and that definitely is something that is good as far as like the positioning of the body because of the fact that I think it kind of resembles like the dinosaur stopping for a moment to just kind of lift its head up into the air, maybe sniff a little bit and see what it can smell and maybe find some prey or something. And of course, if the dinosaur were doing that, I feel like it would be nice and concentrated. It wouldn't have its mouth hanging open for no reason whatsoever. So the closed mouth, if that is the idea behind the pose, makes 100% complete sense. And again, something that I am quite a big fan of. And I also do just generally like dinosaur models that have their mouths closed because theropods wouldn't be consistently running around with their mouths hanging open it just isn't something that i feel like would probably be occurring so it's a nice dose of realism that we often don't get the sculpt again is really nicely done it shows lots and lots of detail as you always find with a collect day sculpt pretty much detailed to the max as collect day never ceases in the detail department and it's got a pretty nice pose again, like I had stated, just kind of stopping for a moment to observe its surroundings, maybe search for some prey, and maybe see exactly what it can smell in the general vicinity. And that's, again, a really nice natural looking pose for the figure. It's nothing overly dramatic, nothing crazy. I feel like it's just a nice, natural, very peaceful looking pose for the figure. The paint scheme as well is quite nicely done. I am a fan of the greens that they've used and that very cool looking yellow up there on the face. I feel like the yellow and greens play off of each other perfectly. And then the ridges that run across the back of the dinosaur down from the head all the way out onto the tail and even in the throat region look really cool and just complement the figure overall. And all of the paint application is nice and naturally applied, nice and smooth as far as the transitioning goes and everything on the figure paint wise looks like body color and not paint on a figure so this figure as a whole is an incredible figure and a great start to the 2021 year i could not be more excited about the 2021 line from collect a because they have a lot of really nice figures that i am very excited to take a look at with you guys and this is just the beginning as far as these collect a 2021 figures go so if you would like to pick this up this figure should be available fairly soon on everythingdinosaur.com so make sure you keep checking back to everything dinosaur and follow them on social media so you are aware of when this figure does come into stock so make sure you do all that fun stuff pick up this incredible neo venatar figure from collect a and make sure you also like comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next review thanks for watching